This is my brother Powell. What's going on? He's the filmmaker of the Sundance Celebrity Swag Hunt. That's true. And he invited us to the Sarasota Film Festival Ta -da! to see the premiere of his film. It's a flick about, well, free stuff. Park City, Utah, home of the prestigious Sundance Film Festival and also home to some of the best swag in the world. Each January, more and more companies set up gifting houses where they get press and promote their brands by giving out free products or swag to the celebrities at the fest. And with the gifting trend reaching epic new proportions, I wanted to know, could any celebrity load up on free swag? So I set up a competition between two very special stars to find out. The one and only Gary Coleman versus Dustin Diamond. You know, Screech from the TV show Saved by the Bell. Trust the dust. I'm going to win this, and Gary, <laughs> well, he'll come up short. Like the contestants, swag comes in all shapes, sizes, and uh, styles. <laughs> Snagging the swag was the easy part of the production. This was guerrilla filmmaking, for sure. I mean, you know, in all honesty, we definitely went out there. We didn't know five days before the film festival if we had a cast, and I was thinking at any minute, you know, I might just have to, you know, cut it all loose and, and cancel the whole thing. Yet armed with a strong faith in reality show dramatics, Powell and crew had high hopes for the product. In, you know, it's reality TV. Anytime you've got that combined with a competition, you're just going to bring out the absolute best qualities in a person. Me, Dustin, me. And that they absolutely did not get along at all. <laughs> no! No! Don't act like that, Gary. You're not listening! Sundance turned into a press fest for the film. There, first of all, you got to think Sundance, you know, attracts a ton of press. Sure. So, and it attracts a ton of people that are interested in celebrities and filmmakers and and the whole industry. So they see, you know, two '80s sitcom stars running around like with giant boxes and all sorts of gifts and stuff like that, followed by a film crew, followed by about 15 paparazzi trying to snap pictures, yelling at them, and it's just like they can't they can't believe their eyes. Although the attention wasn't just confined to the happenings in Utah's high high altitude environment. TMZ.com even caught Coleman spinning at the premiere party of the film for the Sarasota Film Festival. Ta -da! All the fanfare makes sense considering the guys collected, get this, over $100,000 worth of swag. But the real question is, will he be back at Sundance for a sequel? I'm not sure 100% if they really want me to come back out there, but, um, you know, we'll see.